Okay, hey guys, so I'm going to try this voiceover thing. Um, here I am applying my foundation, and I'm using the MAC Waterweight SPF 30 foundation. Um, this is the studio one. It's in NC35, and it's, it's really light. I don't like a heavy foundation, especially in the summertime. I like a nice, light, sheer foundation. So that's what I'm using here. And then I go into applying a powder and it's a drugstore powder cover girl. Um, I use the loose translucent medium powder in shade 115. Then for my eyebrows, I'm using this, um, this Morphe palette that I have. Um, it's an eyeshadow palette, and I kind of just use a little brush, um, and I just use like one of the dark brown colors. Um, I really don't do much with my eyebrows. I used to, and they would take me so long when I did my makeup until I got microblading. So now that my eyebrows are tattooed, it's just super, super simple. I just put a little bit of eyeshadow on them just to, to darken them up a little bit. And then here I'm just applying a little bit more powder because I didn't sleep well last night and I find that when I don't sleep well, my face the next day is like a little bit more oily than normal. Um, so I do just like a little bit extra powder and then here I'm applying bronzer. It's the MAC bronzer. Um, let me see if I can find it. The bronzer is a matte bronzer. Um, I don't know what shade it is, but it's nice because it's not shimmery. And then afterwards I just add this wet and wild um, shimmery bronzer over it just a little bit so sometimes I add that and sometimes I don't and then I'm just using this little a different little brush it's the Morphe M213 um, and I'm just applying a little bit of shadow on my eyelid and then I just kind of rub it out with my fingers so it's not very um, sharp or anything like that just super light light line and then I just put a little bit on my lower lash line super light and again I don't wear makeup all the time usually I don't wear any makeup at all um, lately, apart from, um, like a little bit of foundation that I'll just put on my fingers and put on my face and have that be it, um, but this is when I actually do my makeup, which is maybe like once a week or every like week and a half or two weeks, I'll apply like a full face like this. And then I just applied my mascara, which is the... L'Oreal Voluminous I've been using for years and years and years. Here's a little bit more powder just because of that oiliness from not sleeping well the night before because pregnancy. <laughs> what am I doing here? Here, I'm just applying an e.l.f. blush. Again, most of my products are drugstore because I do prefer those. I don't like to spend crazy money on makeup because I don't wear it every day. And I find that the drugstore makeup is just, just as good. It's 
better almost. And then here I'm applying a lip liner I've been using for years. I couldn't even tell you what it's called, what the brand name is. I have no idea. I think I got it from the dollar store actually and I always use it and it works great for me. And then I just go ahead and put some chapstick over it. I'm not too big on lip gloss. Sometimes I'll put it on, but then I'll literally take it right off in, in a few minutes. I prefer chapstick over anything else. It looks shiny, but it's just a, a shinier chapstick. Just touching up bronzer, a little bit over the ears, and then after that I remember to wipe off my earrings so there's no powder in my earrings. Now I'm going into the hair, and a few hours before I filmed this video I dyed my hair. I do do it at home, um, and since I'm pregnant I use one of the not a healthy hair dye, but one of the healthier hair dyes on the market. Um, and I just do it myself, super simple. I used to be blonde and I would do my, my hair myself then, but the bleaching just got out of hand and it was just too much to keep up with. Um, so I dyed it dark on my own and it came out great. And so I just keep up with it every like month or two, I'll just um, redo the, the dye just to cover up, you know, any lightened spots or just to, to touch up the, the color. So here I'm drying my hair. I like to use a big round brush for my roots and to give it some volume. And I'm just using a Hot Tools round brush. And I do have extensions. They're the semi-permanent ones. Um, they're the micro-beaded ones. And I've had them for so many years, almost 10 years. I think I first got them in 2013. Um, after a car accident, I had a lot of hair loss. Um, so I experimented with these micro-beaded extensions and I've kind of been addicted ever, ever since and you know I go back and forth from my natural hair to having extensions I'll take them out every once in a while and and enjoy just my natural short hair and then go back to the extensions when I need a change um, but I do love them super easy again I dye them straighten them you know blow dry them swim with them um, use all my same products on them and they're just they're great and I lift them every I think you should do it every six to eight weeks um, but I go super long like three four months until I lift them again which I don't recommend but that's what I do to save some money on them so here I'm just finishing up drying my hair with the round brush and blow dryer and believe it or not the hair is really long but it really doesn't take me very long to blow dry it I think I've had them for so long that I'm you know accustomed to drying them and I have like a whole system down and it's it really doesn't take me long at all um, maybe about 10 to 15 minutes to finish drying my whole head um, and I don't start drying my hair immediately. Um, I let it towel dry and air dry to um, about 80%, but when I can't do that, you know, I'll do about 60-70% dry before I go in with my round brush and hair dryer. 
and I always dry the roots and then I find that that dries helps to dry the ends a lot quicker when I start at the roots and the scalp. Let's see. Oh, this is 38 weeks pregnant, out of breath. Belly shot. I'm due August 15th. Literally in about 20 days. Here I'm just going over my hair with a straightener. I like it because it adds a little bit of shine to it. It takes away a little bit of frizz. Um, and I'm just using this hair straightener that I got from, I want to say a TJ Maxx or a Ross or something like that. I always get my hair straighteners from there because they're like... 20 to 30 dollars and they work perfectly and they literally last years I've gotten I want to say two or three at this point in the past like decade um, and I find these hair straighteners work a lot better than the super expensive brands so if you continue to follow me on this channel, you'll see that I like to save money where possible. I like to bargain. I don't like to spend full price on pretty much anything. Um, I usually always choose the cheaper route, but at the same time, I know when money should be spent on something. If that makes sense. I know when you should pay full price for something over a bargained, you know, dupe. And there I was just trying on this dress that I got from Old Navy, but we were on our way to an ultrasound, so I ended up choosing leggings and a t-shirt.